Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can disable or enable MFA that is multi-factor authentications for your O365 user. If you have a global admin role, then you can perform this task in your organization. To achieve this, what you have to do is go to your app launcher and there you will see an admin option if you are a global admin for O365. Once you click on this one, it will take you to the admin.microsoft.com you can directly reach here by typing this as well once you are an o365 admin center there is a user option in left hand side once you click on this one you will see there is active users option once i click on this one it will take you to the all active user in your o365 and in top you can see there is multiple option and there is one more option that is multi-factor authentication once I click on this one, it will take me to the Azure Active Directory and there I can see all of my users. So as of now, you can see for some of the user it is disabled and for some of the user it is enabled. And if I have to just check for which user it is enabled, I can uh, filter this out and I'll be able to see for which users MFA is enabled. So I have these four users to whom the MFA is enabled. So I want to disable MFA for all those four users. So I can do that by selecting all as well, or I can do that for an individual user as well. So if I click on this select all, there is a disable option. Once I click on this one, it will ask for the confirmation. If I click on yes, it will disable MFA for all the users that I've selected. All right, and if I click on any, it will load this for all the users. As you can see, there are users to whom I have enabled earlier, now it is disabled. And if in case I want this to be enabled for some of the users, I can enable this MFA as well. Click on this enable MFA. It is updated successfully. And if I go here, filter this out, you will see that this user has MFA enabled now. So that way you can disable or enable MFA for your O365 user using this global admin role. I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.